Welcome back to Skin These Guitars. I have another cool early build Nash for you today and another Sonic Blue Strat. However, this one is an S62, which is a rare build as Bill Nash only built the S62 for a short period of time before moving to the S63, which is still available today. Let's compare it to my other 2005 Sonic Blue Strat that is an S67. So you can really see the difference between the, both these guitars. They're both from 2005. This one has a much lighter blue variation than this one, which is my S67, um, which has more of a tealish, almost, almost greenish color. I mean, they're both beautiful colors, but this one is very, very, very different, very faded. I think it represents Sonic Blue a little bit better than this one. This guitar has a maple C-neck and an ash body and Lala pickups that were made directly for Nash. Also, the guitar has a, has a thick rosewood fretboard. That is a beautiful piece of wood. I bought this guitar years back and it's virtually in new condition. It still has a tape over the tremola bar hole and the frets look like they've never really ever been played. It's also very light. It only weighs 7.2 pounds. This guitar is also by far, by far my favorite relic job that I've seen by Bill Nash. This guitar has a, has a mint three ply guard and tremola cover, which I feel are a great touch. It also features the L serial number on the neck plate and a nice Fender logo on the headstock really makes it look like a legit 62 Strat. So this guitar was made before Bill started signing the back of the headstock. But it has a serial number on top of the headstock. This is an early serial number sequence, is when he was including a date in the addition to the sequence number of the guitar. This is the 327th guitar he made, and it was finished on October 5th of 2005 which you can see on all, on all the information on the early hang tag. The main difference between the S62 and the S57 are, are the following. The S62 has no gunk stripe on the neck. Um, also, on S62 you can get, you get a pick guard with 11 screw holes versus 8 on the S57. You also have various pick guard options and uh, tremolo cover options. So you can go three ply or mint green, or you could choose a couple different things instead of just one ply white like the S57. Um, so please leave a comment if you know of any others. Also, I promise that I'll have some tellies coming up shortly. So I'm taking this guitar apart for the first time, which I, I really don't want to do, but I am doing it. But I was taking the tremolo cover off. There's a nice message written there that says, kill your TV. I don't know who wrote it, but I agree. Okay, I just got the pick art off, and this is some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen in any of my Ash guitars. Um, first thing it says is obviously this, the, um, the serial number for it, Nash Guitar 327, um, October 05. Then there seems to be like a cool smiley face here, right here. And then a pig which I don't know what that is. Right here it says uh, Maple Regular C. Neck. It says Lawler Special Set. I can't make out the last, oh it just, then it just says Nash. Here in the body, which is cool, he signed it, Bill Nash 05, instead of being on the neck. So maybe you just figured it'd be easier to switch it to put it on the back of the headstock after these guitars are made. Then here on the pick guard, it says S. Lawler's, obviously Nash and the date. And uh, there's really not a whole lot of information on there. Let me see if I can get a shot of the pots here. Uh, pots date to the 26th week of uh, 2005. Let's take some neck measurements that we have. 
the first fret looks like we're looking at point eight nine that's the twelfth it's like point nine five yep nine five let's check the nut The nut is a 1.65. Hmm, it's kind of thin. Okay, I got the neck off the guitar. Um, nothing too crazy with this neck. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's got obviously the, the uh, Clusens that have been weathered, aged. And uh, it says S45 or S15 or it's 95, not sure what that means, but um, it's a beautiful fretboard here. Like I said, the frets are like new on this guitar. So is the fretboard. Um, body, nothing, nothing major. Nothing in this at all, just a, uh, just a nice paint job, that's about it. One last thing about the neck and the body, there's no, there's no other real markings on it. So I, I don't really know who made it. Um, at all. Looks like there might have been some writing on here, but it looks like it was uh, shimmed away or taken away or sanded off. Okay, I'm here with the Nash S62. I'm going to try out some clean tones through a Fender Supersonic, treble at 5, bass at 6. some slightly overdriven tones. I'm using a copper sound fox catcher. Start out the neck.
distortion uh, using a JHS pack rat. I have it in turbo mode. Start on the neck. <laughs> Thank you. 